Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Mad Frankie and Violet Igor over there. And I'm we here, are. Uh, Hello, everyone. We are demonstrating a technique. Uh, if you have done a pull and then gone, oh, it's a, for a particular sort of hiccup that um, Violet, uh, that, sorry, that. Patricia did in the live today. This is Sunday I'm recording this. So Sunday's live. Uh, Patricia did something with lots of colours, rainbow colours, and it went a bit... Mm. So we'll, I'll show you what I was talking about in the, uh, in the chat about how I thought to fix it. Okay, so uh, first of all, we'll put lots of colours on. Oh, and Violet wants to go bye-bye. Yes, and bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye, let's... There we okay, go. thank you. You've gone and you're still there. That was the bit I wanted to be sure of, to be able to have your voice in the background, to be able to see chat and all that. So I'm just going to do random colours, any old colour, and I'm going to get myself... Um, I'm going to get myself, I hope. I thought I had a couple of... I'm getting new ones out. Oh, I had a couple of... Uh, uh, gloves, but I don't know where I put them. And the nice blue ones, and these are the manky looking sort of funny ones. But I, I've uh, pulled some skin on my finger, and I don't really want to get paint in it, you see. So I thought, best thing, let's do this. Put some funny gloves on. Probably won't stick these on for long, because they, they get quite hot, don't they? There we are. All gloved up, surgery ready. <laughs> Put little bits of this on, not a lot. So we'll start with that. This is what Patricia was doing, putting some colour on. I'm just spreading this out. Okay, I must have. I was gone for this part, so this. So it's new to you as well. Yes, it is. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, um, so she was putting lots of colors on. That's all I'm doing to start. We're just putting lots of colors on. It looks fun so far. Now, and it doesn't I, matter if it dries while I'm doing this. It's you then put a layer on and pull it. Okay. So it now I matter. did see. I did see Judy. I think it was did um, dandelion colored dandelion fluffs that she posted in Makers. Really? Oh, yeah. So I thought that's what y'all were talking about, what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was doing butterflies on hers, P. Okay. So this is basically just finger painting on the gel plate. It's just adding color, but you can add it any way you like. I mean, for goodness sakes, you could add it with this if you like. Well, you could put it on with the brush, too. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. But I like this because you can put it exactly where you want it. doesn't matter. Okay, so that's that. And another one. What color should we use next? So let's use a nice bright green. And you can uh, also put and the blue. color, you could put a glob of the color off to the side and pull it up from there instead of putting it directly on your plate, right? You could do if you want to. Seems a bit of a waste of paint, but yeah. We're just creating a paint collage. We're just print creating a collage with paint, that's all. Yep. Just wiping my finger in between so that I've got a nice clean uh, palette or paintbrush, <laughs> otherwise and, known as uh, my finger. And I'm going to ask, that is the primary magenta, isn't it? That, no, that was, um, that was Caput Mortuum Violet. Oh, okay. This is transparent. I don't want transparent. What have I got here? That was the dead oh, violet. Carmine. Let's have carmine. A bit of carmine. I don't think I've used carmine. The dead violet. Yes, it was. So you get finger marks all over the place.
got some cutting up to do. Um, let's use a little bit of gold. Because I share them. All right, I saved it. Good job. Funny how it seems to be so much thinner than the other paints, and yet there's a big tube, and you need three blobs to get the color on. Transparency. Yeah, it must have a lot of transparency in it. You wouldn't have thought so with a gold, would you? Now, I don't want anything too dark on this. But I would like a little bit of um, some purpley, darker purpley colour. How Oh, I love about this violet. Ultramarine violet, that would be nice. Wow. So what was the technique part that you were trying to explain or show or answer to with P? Well, you'll see, won't you? You'll have to wait and see. Okay. Because what we're going to get is that. And that blue needs some more. That, uh, that blue. Needs some I more. guess I need to go watch the replay. ASAP. Yeah. Mm, it could be. <laughs> but this is exactly what she did. So you don't need to watch that bit. You'll find that bit. But you'll see it when you see the replay. But uh, if she does it better anyway, she does it with a real finger. Oh, no. She used um, um, finger gloves. Not finger gloves. You know, those little finger things that go over just your fingers. They're. Here they call them finger cots. I don't know why, but that's okay. what they're called. Must be some old reason. Yeah, who knows? A little bit more, a little bit more. This is um, iridescent. A little bit too, because I don't think there's enough there. But it's too transparenty. It's not a very. It's a semi-opaque. This one. The green. Yeah, as it says on the side. So I'm going to add a bit more. So it's not quite so semi and more opaque. And yeah, it's more you, green as well. You could probably expand that green up at top so it fills in that empty spot. In there. Yeah. Instead of putting a little bit of any other color there. Same as there's an yeah. open spot on your right that you could probably put a dauber of green in there. Okay. Right there, yeah. yeah oh, you covered the purple. Oh, that's all right. It's only a little bit. Yeah, that kind of pulls it. I've got four patches of purple anyway. So yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I think I want to put some more cup, put more to them violet on as well, because I don't think it's quite strong enough. So I want a little bit there. Well, flip it over and take another look. Yeah, well, in a minute, but I can see through now that I can see through it. So you see what I mean? So I know it needs 
some more. A bit stronger. Well, so the idea is that you can't see what's uh, anything coming through. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. One colour. So no uh, transparency. No. Because transparency was another way to solve the problem, which you wouldn't have had in the first place if you'd used transparency. Uh, okay. And I'm going to catch so. us early this time because we're both so involved with this. We're not paying attention. Move that plate up towards your trilobites. Thank you. Now we've got it all in there. Okay. Yep. Probably still going to have some transparency on that. <clears throat> A little bit more of that one. That's quite thick, that one now. It's all a question of where I've nudged it to, isn't it? So, I mean, Patricia didn't take so long putting this layer on. Anything like as long as me. Did she use as many colours? Just about, yeah. You've got six colors. I think that she I've randomized it a bit more. I think she randomized it a bit more, so it blended in a bit more. But I'm I'm not bothered about that. It's just the technique I want to get to. Let's see what we can see through. Turning it over. There is a bit of you can see, or I can see where it is a little bit less. So that was that red carmine, wasn't it? There we are, carmine. A little bit of the red. So you've got, I thought that One, was... Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Orange, gold. Six. Or gold. Okay, you've got the Mortuum Violet, you've got the purple, you've got the light blue, you've got the green, you've got the uh, red, and you've got the gold. That's six. Yeah, six. That's okay. the only tubes I got out, six of them. Right, so that has got to go away and sit there and get nice and dry. Yeah, let's not. Well, that's going to take a while because in some places it's quite thick. So that will go away to get dry. In the meantime, we'll do something else. I'm going to do a lot of something else because that's going to take all night to dry. <laughs> maybe, maybe. So wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. That means I have to wait all night to figure out whatever it is that you were talking about and your whole reason. Of Are you kidding? I could do another one with just uh, one color. Same technique. Get a, a opaque color. You can do whatever you want. I'll see if any of the yellows are opaque. And if they are, we'll try that. I'm just going to go off and have a little hissy fit. <laughs> oh yeah oh dear <laughs> oh it's a bit smoogy down the bottom but that's all right this side is all right whoops my table is going haywire here we are now let's do one solid color have we got the orange is that that's a that's a transparent so that's not any good that's for a nice opaque color, light opaque color. Uh, uh, how about that's Ooh. it? That'll pop your eyeballs out. That should be a lot quicker. Well, let me let me uh, give you a pun. Go on, man. Yeah, it's a terrible pun. 
Woman. What's the definition of a will? It's the opposite of a won't. No, it's a dead giveaway. That's terrible. I know, I said it was terrible. Okay, I got another one. Go on. A bicycle can't stand on its own because it is too tired. Oh, that's terrible. I know, I know. They're not, <laughs> they're not mine, so. Uh, a chicken crossing the road is poultry in motion. <laughs> oh, dear. Really How many bad. of these have you got? Eleven. Eleven? Go on, then. Tell us another. The man who fell into an upholstery machine is fully recovered. Oh, that's bad. Damn, that's, oh, that's bad. bad. That's bad. <laughs> that's bad. That's bad. A, a backwards poet writes in verse. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> dear me. Dear, dear me. I have, oh, there it is. Looking for my very expensive dryer you're, you're you're super duper magical dryer yeah that's a lovely yellow though isn't it so it's bright why don't you put that aside and go on to the next thing because you just a, 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 just I? you're just teasing me anyway so just keep it going don't, <laughs> okay that's that's going to be the theme of tonight's yeah. show is let's tease violet <laughs> If she's gonna, if she's gonna keep giving bad puns, we're just gonna keep teasing her. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> all Violet's fault. Yep, all my fault. There you go. Uh, a little to the right, because Mad Frankie is covering the bottom left corner a, a tad bit. Just a minute. So. Yep, get your plate down and then then we'll get it lined up. There you go. Right. A little more to the right. There you go. Lovely. Okay. That's just lovely. lovely. What should I play with next? I don't know. Just feel like it. I want to try them wiggly legs. I mean, that's not a, um, haven't fixed the uh, stencil yet, but just wanted to try it out, see what it looked like. The short fortune teller who escaped from prison was a small medium at large. Uh, it will try to say it. I'm just, you know. It's just, it's just, just getting worse, you know. <laughs> Hey, I'm just reading them. I'm just don't kill the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put these on because I haven't used those yet. And this because I haven't used that yet because I'm not convinced that it's much good. And I did have the wiggly legs, and I don't know where I put them. Hey, hey, we can be late. I could do some stamping. Haven't done that. I was watching the way you're doing that. I was watching Patty Tolly Parrish uh, last night. She mm -hmm. was foiling on fabric. I haven't seen that one. I saw it come up, but I haven't seen that one. I haven't had time. Right. Well, I was like half asleep, so I didn't see it all. I saw just enough to say, "Ooh, that's interesting. I'll have to go back." Mm -hmm. There we go. Right. Probably lose all that now. It's a rainbow baron now. Yeah. <laughs> Colorful. See? Yeah, I see. <laughs> I've seen you do it. <laughs> I 
Oh, I've got something. Uh, I think I want a bit of tissue on that. Looks like I've got to get myself some black tissue paper. That's not bad, is it? On pink tissue? <laughs> That's a chocolate box, that one. Look. <laughs> Look. Pink. Ugh. Murdery pink. Ugh. True. Yeah. <laughs> Murdery pink. You can't you can't make it look good. You need another one. You need one more. Yeah. What a broken one. <clears throat> He's been in a fight. He's been in a fight. He did battle and he won. Right, let's that's there. I want to do that. Taking this up now. Here we go. Let's see the reveal. I'm just going to... No, no, I can't get any more. There we go. I mean, it's not a great deal, but there's something to start, isn't it? Something interesting. And uh, pick this up. Got a pale blue place, palish blue one. What I need is my... Hoiki tool. There we are, hoiki tool. Another word for it is um, palette knife. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you just say that? Oh, because I'm silly. So everything I'm reading about wet strength tissue paper says if you want it in color, the best because the colors will leach. That the best the best way to have the colored tissue paper is use the wet strength, color on the rough side, not the shiny side, um, like paint on that side, and you'll get your color. Hmm, seems like a long way around, doesn't it? Well, not if you want wet strength. Hmm, it does. It'd be better to just buy some wet strength black. <laughs> but there isn't any, so you can't. There isn't any, so you have to make your own. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's come, becoming quite interesting, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. And that one was quite interesting as well, but not quite as interesting as this. So, that's got to wait, you know. Another one? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, go I'm check really that. Sorry. Go check that purple one and see if it's dry. The purple one's bone dry. There you go. Just put it on top because I can't really move it. This one because I've got no plate for it. I like that yellow. This is yellow. Naples yellow. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Should we pull it on white tissue, see what happens? Anyway, let's try with the white tissue. Luckily, even wearing gloves, you can test it on your chin to see whether it's the smooth or the rough side. Well, that'll have to wait now. Can't pull that immediately. It's such a, it's such a nice looking thing. Look at that. It's going to be nice. Yes. I can pull this one before I do that. Ready. Very nice. Mm. That's not too bad at all, is it? No. It shows up well. Who bright. Now then, what am I going to do with this? Color shall we use? I think I ought to start with something like um, Prussian blue or indigo. I think I'll start with indigo. This is um, expert, this one. One of the few expert ones I've got. Ooh. Uh-oh. They're attacking. Yep, they're attached to each other. Mm -hmm. Come on, I've run out of brayer off sheets again. Ah. Now then, put that one on because I like it. Put <clears throat> that one on because I like it. I want to use this one. I've used this one. I thought I had. You can tell it's got some colour on it. Well, that's something else I'd quite like to use. One more I've got down there. I spotted when it fell out of that. Now, I think that those should be left. This should be left to dry. No, really? <laughs> sorry. I'm awfully sorry. Not very. <laughs> I've never heard anybody say that as many times as you tonight. Left to dry. <laughs> left to dry. Well, I'm not quite up to pee with left to cure. Left to cure, left to mature, left to ripen. Yep. This is actually to dry. So a little bit different, but not much. So 
does make it look nice, doesn't it, when it's got the colour on it? I like it. So this one is my poppy stamp. Probably smeared like mad now. Poppies. Moon. Nice moon. This is going to be a really interesting brayer off sheet, actually, with all this on it. Mm hmm That's what I was thinking. Got to make fantastic collage material. Now, that's got to dry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You're Sorry. killing me, Smalls. <laughs> I can ease it up gently onto there. Lovely. Now then, here's the new plate. And I'll leave the, the white sheet underneath it because it's the only way you can move them. So, what am I going to do this with? What do you think? Thanks, Ray. Put this one down here. And then this one oh, in this top corner. Different. Oh, you get me all confused. Hmm? Oh, not am I? That went there, and then the other one went the other direction. That one I think was that right one. Up there. Go there. Right it's going to have to because I flopped on, yep. isn't it? Yep. And that one went down there. Yep. Maybe. No, that's, well, okay, but you didn't leave any room for the other gear. <laughs> oh, you're killing me, Smalls. There you go. Don't have to put it all the way on, do you? No, but now you got to go get the squiggly lines and put those at the top. I want those right there at the top, and then the trilobite. Oh yeah, that'll work. And then the trilobite down at the bottom. Oh, that'll work too. Okay. You keep changing my mind. Can use a slightly bigger one now. There we are. It doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, they're all on. White tissue. Not going to go go on. I'll, I'll have a bigger bit. Yeah. Yep. A little too small. Now I can take a bit of time. That's enough. Enough fiddling. Let's do some registration. That is a nice black and white. Oh, there it is. On the trilobites and the circles and the gears, I don't know about on the writing. Yeah. I bet that needs a bit more something. We've totally lost the screen. All we can see is your arm. Bummer. Get that one up. And that one up. And most of this one up, I think. Oh, I'll come back to that one. This way. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> yep. Oh, 
I'm going to have to do this sideways. It's the only way to get it, I think. <laughs> yeah, go. Leave, yeah, you're knocking things over. Go leave that there and go pull the other tissue paper. Uh, I was enjoying that. <laughs> there we go. Now it's got only got card underneath, so I've got to be careful how I pick it up. Yeah. <clears throat> I think sliding it onto my hand is the best way. There we go. The suspicion. This one may now pull. It's a nice purple one with the lovely patterns. This one. I think it might pull now. You think? Maybe. Can you see it all? Yeah. Good place. Good. We're good. Oh dear. We're going to get something, but there's going to be some left behind. It's not bad at all, is it? No, it isn't. Not too bad. I really like that. Ooh, shabby. Yeah, I like it. I like this um, selling here. Yeah. You know what? I don't like that spot up there. Which spot? Top left. What? Yeah. Oh. That's my yeah. son. I know. Yeah, well, you can always go over it with a Posca pen and add stuff to it, you know. Exactly. So, how am I going to do it? What should I do? I know. I'll put the same colour down again. This one. Stamp into it. <laughs> Don't know what song this is. Don't think it's real at all. <laughs> oh, it's real. It's just not legit. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, isn't it? Right. Dry. That's I don't know how much right. of that. I'm yeah. I don't, know. don't know how much of it pulled up. Yeah. Maybe I'll take a, a brief, delicate one. Lay it down. Pull it up. Oh, that might do it. That might be enough. Yeah, I think that is enough. I think that's going to work now. Because if you turn it over... Yes, that's going to work now. That's much better. Right, that's got to dry. Then I can put some nice... Browns on it. I'm thinking wait, of, uh, wait, wait. of what? What? It's got to be left to dry. Another one. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a song called "It's Crying Time Again" or something like that. Yeah, I think it should be changed to it's drying time again. Yep, I think it should. 
Let's have a look and see how much of this is dry. I was yeah. thinking to put some different colours on here, do a little sideways ombre. Thank you. Green. The green like uh, is on your... Yes. Yes, well done. That green like's over on your brain. Sure, that'll do. That'll do. Got a hole. Oh dear. Yeah, you do. Up there in the middle. Mm hmm. Mm. Dear me. Now then, a uh, big sheet of white tissue. I wonder if that one's big enough. Might be. You missed a corner by being diagonal. I might have to put this prayer sheet back down, only the other way up. Okay, so you're going to have to let this sit. Uh-huh. Yep, I already knew that. What else is there over there? There's one over here with trilobites and black on. Oh, that'll do. Black trilobites. We can have some black trilobites. Yeah, the black and white. Let us have a look and see what we've got in the dark. Lovely black. Payne's grey, actually, but uh, that'll do. Let me just mm -hmm. remove that so we can have a look. That's not bad at all, is it? No, it isn't. I do like that when you put the um, tissue back down to pick up the inner impression. That That's good. Registration worked just fine. Yeah. Super. I didn't think the writing pull you're off screen. Uh Mad Frankie is covering up too much of it um down where the writing is. I didn't think that writing would hold up to the registration. But I like mm -hmm. it all. Yeah. It's not too bad at all, is it? No, it isn't. It's a keeper. Mm -hmm. Bad, definitely. I thought that's very good um collage material. Very good indeed. Very good registration. Worked out pretty good. Well, that's because the tissue was never taken completely off the plate. There was always some part of it still in contact. So that's really the best way to do it. If you can, if you've got a big enough thing, so you can sort of move it this way to get a diagonal one off and move it that way to get that bit off. And yeah, which is what I did. Yeah. So that's lovely. Lovely, lovely. Mm -hmm. We can do something else on that plate now. And there's still a little bit of that on there. So we'll be able to get some more of that up. If we do something with a light colour. Because there's still quite a bit there. On this corner anyway. Not so much up here. But we can add things to it. So... Only Celtic, what color shall I use? Celtic and trilobites and gears shadows. Hmm. Okay. So I really like the black and white. Um, yeah. I like the um, with the Celtic. But if I, I use like, the Queen's Cray, this will pretty much disappear. I think. Yeah, it definitely will. How about how about um, the bronze? Go back to the bronze. <laughs> That way, yeah. Celtic, bronze Celtic knots and 
paint and that over the paint spray. Yeah. Paint spray. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Paint yeah. Spray yeah. Okay, we'll do that then. Yeah. Oh, man, I beat the too late buzzer. <laughs> you beat the too late buzzer just yeah. about. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> but I beat it. I win. I'm the winner. All right, where are you going to go? That way or that way? That way. All right. For this size plate, I really need some bigger ones, didn't I? All right. Put your, yeah, put that one down and then go from there. And that's the broken one. Is that it? Yeah. You could throw a up. you could throw a cog in there for you could throw your favorite cog wheel one in there for um that one. I was sort of looking at that. Yeah. Going you go on. up at the top. Yeah. You could Yeah, I think that'll go well. There you go. That's enough. And you can even come back and Excuse me, laying this down. There you go. Here we are. <clears throat> so it's laid down now. Yep. So now you have to move it, and I'm going to say it. I don't care. I'm going to get, you have to move it over there. Yes. Let's move it over there. Let's do that thing. <laughs> over there. <clears throat> Probably something on here. I'm going to put some browns on here. Very similar. It's going to be quite subtle that. You can't see. Let me just push it further on. Oh, you're just a tad. There you go. Hmm. That's some wet. Wow. Ooh. 
Wow. Amazing. That's like midnight in the land of Oz. It's pretty decent, I think. I like wow. it. It's subtle, but... Mm. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to pull. It's one of the three that we've been waiting for. And it should now be possible to find out what we've got. This is the one with the Celtic knots. Lovely. Pretty decent, I think. Not too bad at all. Those picked up the last little bits of the previous one. Good out. Let's see what else we can get. And the next one is the coffee one. All the coffee stamps are used. Just a few bits left where the creases were. Not too bad at all. <coughs> yeah, not bad at all. The stamps came out quite well. Could have done been a little bit browner in some places, but uh, that's what I was hoping for, this sort of look. So that's pretty decent. Now let's go for this one. Let's see if I can pull this one. I've been waiting a long time for this one. It's through the entire stream, actually. And it just would not do. Oh, we need to take that away for the moment. <clears throat> and there we are, the lovely colours. I still feel very slightly sticky, but it did all pull up. So if we're very careful, <coughs> we might get something from it. Now we need this plate and we need some of this. And we are going to attempt to put butterflies, um, not butterflies, it, P would have used butterflies, but I've got trilobites. I'm going to use one of my darkest colours, which is the... In this case, the, um, what's it called? Uh, indigo. <coughs> I think it's a little bit darker than the uh, Prussian blue. Prussian blue, yes. Just spreading it over there, right? Nice and evenly. I'm going to pop these on. Pick up as much colour as I can. There we are. <clears throat> Not too terrible. Let's try another one. And I'll put a bit more on. Just smooth this out so I've got something to pick up. Another way of doing it is to brayer it onto the 
anything like that. And you can always use a fresh uh, unused brayer if you want to try to make sure it goes down, but don't do it more than once. This is still a little bit on the wet side. Not completely so, but enough to be a bit worrying if you're not quick enough. Just got it. Good. Didn't get all of it, but got quite a bit of it. And if you get enough on one of these, let's try this one now. Need some more ink. It's not ink, is it? It's uh, <clears throat> that's paint. A little bit more because it's starting to dry on the plate and lift bits up, which we really don't want at the moment. Let's try this one. In fact, we can probably put a couple on at once. There we go. Just trying to make sure I'm not going to get any on the wrong areas. Very quick. And that should be enough. Now I've got a lot more ink on that one. Sorry, paint. It's like ink, isn't it? Like I'm inking everything up. And I reckon I can do a more little one. See, it's better to put some ink, uh, paint on each time. I think I might read them. I reckon so. A tiny, tiny touch more on there. Just enough to... It's wrapped itself around the brayer. That's probably not going to work. Just trying to get that a bit more. Printed. There we go. That's not too bad at all. So there you go. That is what I mean. What I meant in the live Sunday live.
for Piano Marty Studios that they did. And this is what I was talking about in trying to rescue the other side of the uh, lovely flowery rainbow effect that uh, Patricia had. Mine is not as good a flowery um, effect as she had. It was lovely, the one she did. And um, it was a beautiful piece anyway, but that was just an idea that you could use to salvage when you've put things in the wrong order and you can sort of save it by doing it this way. That's just it. That's all there is. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, we'll say goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.